Major funding for this program was provided by the National Endowment for the Humanities. Additional funding was provided by the John D. and Catherine T. MacArthur Foundation. The Corporation for Public Broadcasting. The annual support from viewers like you. And by the New York Council for the Humanities. A presentation of WGBH Boston. Revolution is not a dinner party. It is an act of violence, said Mao Zedong. For 25 years, Mao ruled China and shaped the lives of a quarter of the world's people. The story of China in Revolution continues with the Mao years, a documentary special. China in Revolution is available on home video cassette for $39.95 plus shipping and handling. To order, call 1-800-255-9424. This is PBS. Not just business as usual. Do you think that we should take him off your business because you personally feel that he is doing something that is against your personal beliefs? Yes. <laughs> Not just another round table. And while we're being sensitive to all these groups here, groups of those and groups of that, uh, why is no one sensitive to rich white wasps? <laughs> Join John Chancellor for On the Issues. Next on OETA. Next time on NOVA, cigarettes. The U.S. tries to keep its own citizens from smoking. So why is our government pressing China to buy more U.S. tobacco? It is reprehensible for industrial nations to export disease, disability, and death in the way of cigarette smoke. Will China learn from our mistakes? Can China kick the habit? That's next time on NOVA. Tuesday night at 7. This is PBS, the public broadcasting service. It happens every day and night. It doesn't stop when you graduate or reach a certain age. We are all of us learning even now. You see something unexpected and you let it take you to a new place. It's not important to understand fully, but just to see. Some call it education, but that's only a word. You see something in a person's face, you hear their story, and that teaches you all that they struggle to learn. Maybe you're just remembering something you knew all along, but forgot. It could be we're here solely to remind each other what must not be missed or ignored, but celebrated. And finally, no. When do we stop learning? Maybe never. In Chinese medicine, that the body has to move. Next time on Masterpiece Theater, the honeymoon's over for Dorothea. Why do you think I should wish for anything that would annoy you? Dorothea, you are hasty. While for Rosamond, it could be just beginning. There's one bird I'd very willingly be taught by. Untamed? And for Fred? Is he very ill? In the next episode of Middlemarch on Masterpiece Theater. Is it naive for Carrie to want a little bit of substance in this? Not just business as usual. You are prepared publicly to attempt to destroy this company. Not just another round table. If you order me not to put it on the air, I'm going to resign. She's going to resign. It won't get on the air here tonight, but it'll get on the air somewhere, if not tonight, tomorrow. Join John Chancellor for On the Issues. This is PBS. A missing person. What mother's gonna leave a baby and go off for a whole night in a town she doesn't know? A kidnapping. You don't suppose it could be the mother herself, do you? A murder. I think you better not have another drink. You could be your husband's only alibi. Inspector Morse discovers the clues in an ancient Greek ship. Next time on Mystery. Thursday evening at 9. News that covers the state. The Oklahoma News Report. Monday through Friday at 6.30.
Nature is made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by annual financial support from viewers like you, your local gas company and America's natural gas industry, fueling power plants for a cleaner environment. And by Canon, quality and innovation for the way we work and live. Canon. Yes, I can see by the early light the peril of the night is gone and far across the distant range i see the road to there are probably as many ways of looking at america as there are people who live here and while someone else's views might seem too rational or too emotional or too spiritual. All are personal. All are different. And all are part of the mosaic of American life, which is ours to put together, piece by piece, day by day. Yet shining over our land and home. On the next Prime Suspect 3, Connie was going to sell his story to the paper, naming one, a high-ranking police officer, two, a member of Parliament. Well, we want Jackson charged. What we do not want is the investigation broadened. Are you telling me not to interview my prime suspect's main alibi? If a person has full-blown AIDS and bites someone else, how dangerous is that? We're not talking about you, are we? A child's world is not like our world. Each day is a new life. Each moment is met with an open mind. And each corner is turned with curiosity. So doesn't it make sense, while the slate is still clean, to fill it with the brightest pictures and the nicest thoughts? It's what they'll always find on the children's programs of public television. For as long as they've been watching us, we've been watching over them. Oklahoma's Public Television Network. This is OETA. Nature is made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by annual financial support from viewers like you, your local gas company and America's natural gas industry, providing air conditioning that helps preserve the ozone layer. And by Canon, quality and innovation for the way we work and live. Canon. Nature is made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by annual financial support from viewers like you, your local gas company and America's natural gas industry, fueling vehicles for a cleaner environment. And by Canon, quality and innovation for the way we work and live. Canon. PBS. From the Nature series, Kingdom of the Ice Bear is available on home video. This program travels to the top of the world for an adventure both above and below the frozen ocean. Reigning above all creatures in this Arctic wonderland is the majestic polar bear. You may order Kingdom of the Ice Bear on VHS video cassette for $24.95. For credit card orders, please call 1-800-852-2398. From the smallest molecule to the vastness of space, from the beauty of burning deserts to barren lands of ice, from the edge of exploration to the drama of survival, everything and every place on Earth and beyond is within your reach on public television. We find that nature has outguessed us. The real universe is more incredible than even we crazy science fiction writers dreamed. All of us have a God in us. It's the same voice that is speaking to everybody on this planet. It is another thing entirely to be hunted by a machine that simply thinks of you as a target. Public television will always be America's single most important and accessible source of information and understanding about the world in which we live.
on the next Prime Suspect 3. Connie was going to sell his story to the paper, naming one, a high-ranking police officer, two, a member of Parliament. Well, we want Jackson charged. What we do not want is the investigation broadened. Are you telling me not to interview my prime suspect's main alibi? If a person has full-blown AIDS and bites someone else, how dangerous is that? We're not talking about you, are we? Rome wasn't built in a day. Find out how many days it actually took. Unlock the secrets of the Great Pyramids. See why your home was once your castle, literally. And discover how people created a little heaven on earth in cathedrals. Author David McCauley explores the techniques and the intrigues that created these architectural marvels. They're four of the ultimate do-it-yourself projects. Over four nights, beginning Sunday, May 8th at 8. Today, you have become teachers. In your hands is our nation's most precious resource, our future. Yet before you can teach a single lesson, you will have to accomplish something far more difficult. You will have to inspire. It is not enough simply to make someone learn. You must make them want to learn. This is your challenge today, tomorrow, and for as long as the eyes of the young look up to you. There's hardly a job on earth that asks more of a person. All we ask of you is to help us give them some tools to do it. We'll be studying tornadoes. Please open your books to chapter 3, page 20. We chose this object because, in fact, over the past 10 years, there were other indications that the material surrounding this very young star was distributed not in a spherical envelope, but probably in some kind of elongated structure. Public television will always be America's single most important and accessible source of scientific information and understanding. Science in all its forms and pursuits. Science with a human face striving to answer human needs, to imagine the unimaginable. Science is an unending series of real-life mysteries. We'll be getting pictures of Neptune, uh, essentially at arm's length, to wonder, to explore. A never-ending story of public television. Local presentation of nature is made possible through a grant from the company fueling Oklahoma's economy with environmentally clean, abundant natural gas. Oklahoma Natural Gas. Pure Oklahoma. It's a jungle out there, and nobody puts you in the thick of it like public television. the next prime suspect three. Connie was going to sell his story to the paper naming one, a high-ranking police officer, two, a member of parliament. Well, we want Jackson charged. What we do not want is the investigation broadened. Are you telling me not to interview my prime suspect's main alibi? If a person has full-blown AIDS and bites someone else, how dangerous is that? We're not talking about you, are we? Thursday evening at nine. Hello, I'm Louis Rukeyser, inviting you to join me for the next edition of Wall Street Week, when we'll look beyond the headlines for what's really ahead for this economy in the company of the man who, for 14 years running, has been voted the best economist in Wall Street. He's Ed Hyman, and his visits here over the years have made it clear to our viewers why he has earned such respect. Friday evening at 7.30. said it most simply this instrument can teach it can illuminate yes and it can even inspire 
but it can do so only to the extent that humans are determined to use it to those ends. This instrument can teach public television. Hello, I'm Jane Giroux. This week on Health Matters, estrogen deficiency. Meet a woman who went through estrogen replacement therapy to combat her menopausal symptoms and find out the advantages and possible side effects of that therapy. Plus, learn how you can tell if you're showing signs of estrogen deficiency. And look out, teenage sun worshipers. If you play now, you might have to pay later. We'll tell you why on Health Matters. Saturday afternoon at 5. News that covers the state. The Oklahoma News Report, Monday through Friday at 6.30.